before about Nyquist and the skill set that he brings to the table. To have a guy that's got the experience he has and then the versatility to move throughout your lineup, how much from a coaching perspective does that help you guys? Yeah, and the leadership, right? Uh, the calmness. He's, uh, he's a real presence in our dressing room and on the bench. And obviously, um, you know, he's played extremely well. He's provided us with some offense, but he, uh, he's just a good pro, plays in all, all three zones very well. Hey, Dean, usually with like rookies who make their debuts, there's that adrenaline rush and there's like the big spike in their play. And then they, gradually they kind of take a little bit of a dip once it catches up with them. Brock Faber hasn't had a chance to do that because he's in the playoff situation. How have you seen him kind of, um, his play as has as, as gone on here? Yeah, I just think that's who he is, right? He's just a, a very calm, you know, obviously we did, hadn't spent a lot of time around him uh, until, you know, he got here. And just obviously his play on the ice is a lot like he conducts himself off the ice. He's just a calm, mature, you know, person. And he plays the game uh, uh, like that, very, very straightforward. You know, he's uh, not intimidated by the, you know, the surroundings and physicality and all of that. He's, he's stepped up. He's played extremely well. Dean, you addressed uh, Kaprizov and Boldy yesterday and uh, how optimistic you are because the chances are there. With young players like that, do you and or your staff, do you do have special conversations? Do you talk to them or do you let this go organically, expecting that their talent at some point is going to produce on the, the sheet? How do you approach young guys like that? Oh, it's always different, right? I mean, there's... We, we when we sit in our meetings, you're, you talk to you know who touch ups we call them like who who we're gonna chat with or show video and um, you know there's a fine line of talking too much and showing too much and what have you so um, but there's different situations um, you know depending on who the player is and but uh, the bottom line we are getting the chances so that's the very positive thing. Um, not only for those two, but our entire group. We just need to finish them off. Need a win on the road at some point here. Dean, what's your confidence um, and how the team's been, the visitor, and what you can take from maybe games one and two in this environment? Yeah, I, the thing is, I don't think I, our game translates at home or, or away. We, we, you know, when we, obviously, everybody's looking for consistency, but when we play the right way, um, you know, it, it's a good road game and it's a good home game. It, um, you know, we don't uh, we don't change too much. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to putting that consistent game out there tonight. Uh, Dean, it, it seems like Pete's done a, a a pretty good job of talking about your penalties publicly. Uh, you know, even the other night, needled about you know if you take penalties, you got to make them pay. Do you? Is there a way to counteract that besides the obvious not taking penalties with the? supervisors and, and, and things like that? Like, what are your conversations like with Don? Yeah, I mean, we both coaches meet with him daily. I, I didn't meet with him yesterday. Billy talked to Don. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no lobbying that goes on, but obviously we're talking about our concerns of last game. I don't have to go into all of it. You guys have spoke about it enough, like I talked about after the game. In no sense, whining about penalties is there's nothing we can do about them now but you know are we going to change the way that we play are we going to finish all our checks of course we are I mean you know and if if you get a suspect call then yeah you gotta you gotta kill the thing off so um you know we think we're playing the game the right way we might have some stuff go um you know in their favor but I'm sure they feel the same thing that there's some calls that have gone in our favor. So, um, bottom line is, you got to when when the penalties occur, you got to score, or you got to keep it out of our net. Dean, it's been a physical grinding series, and fatigue as these series wear on becomes such a factor. How much, as a coach, uh, do you look at the fatigue not only on your side but on their side to try to gain an advantage within these late games in a series when it's been like this one has? Yeah, well, that's our <clears throat> our hope, right? Is that our physicality has been you know, grinding and been able to maybe, hopefully, wear teams down and, and uh, their team. So, um, yeah, well, if you got to fight through checks and hits all the time, it's a, it's a more difficult game than obviously having it wide open. Game two is wide open. We, do, we don't want that game here tonight or we're not going to have success if we keep it tight. Um, we'll give ourselves a chance.
Dean talking to Reeves before the series, he said their line has to be the tone setters. Um, seems like they were early in game four. Just, you know, what, how, how would you gauge the way that, that, that threesome has played so far and the tone they have set? Well, that line's been real good. Um, they've created energy for us. They've uh, kept the puck out of the net. Um, they've been physical. Um, they've pushed the pace, uh, um, you know, in limited minutes. So, no, we're real happy with their the way they're playing. Hopefully they can get rewarded because they've been around it. Reeves and uh, both Duhame had really nice tips last game that uh, that just didn't go in. So um, we're looking forward to getting a couple of those bounces, and that line can help. Uh, Dean, John, John was uh, obviously a part of this organization for a long time. Last, uh, you know, last player to kind of send this team to the next round in this building outside of the bubble. Just what do you feel his emotions are making his postseason debut against the Stars? Yeah, I think he's, if you, if you know him, he doesn't get too rattled with a lot of stuff. So um, he's going to be, uh, he's going to be fine, obviously. Um, you know, he's a big part of our offensive um, threat uh, on the power play and, and five on five, so we're looking forward to him playing a solid game.